Hi there again. Did you know that you can use Make the Cut to print? And because I do not have a rubber stamp with the appropriate sentiment for my Cupid card, I'm going to have to use Make the Cut to print the sentiment out. And to do that, I will click on this text and fonts tab right over here to add the font that I'm going to use since I do not have the font previously installed in my computer. Now, if I already have the font previously installed, I will be able to, sh to pull it down from here. So to add the font to this session of Make the Cut, I will click on this button right over here and look for the font, locate the font and click open to add it to Make the Cut. I'll click OK to close this window. And to bring the text onto the mat, I can't just type it in right now. I will have to click on this button right over here to add a group of characters. And I'm, I've already typed in Be Mine from my previous session and it is still there. Now make sure that Auto Split and Vertical are not checked. I'm going to click Add to add the text to the mat and as you can see it's there but the text is too big for my card so I will need to reduce it and I can do that by going up here and changing the the width and height of it by keeping this lock locked um, I'm locking the aspect ratio and in that case I just really need to change um, the width to say 3.5 and the height will automatically um, reduce itself to um, retain so that the, the shape of the font is retained. And to move the position of the text, I can shift it manually by dragging and holding down my left mouse button, or I can change the position by changing the numbers on this X and Y axis. Now, in this case, I'm going to change the X to 4.5 inches and the Y to 0 0.75 inches. Now when I do a print preview of this text right now, it is going to look funky because I did not switch off the outline shapes. Now I will need to go back to switch it off. I do that by clicking on this virtual matte tab and uncheck outline shapes and because I am printing to a colored printer, I will need to change the color of the text to black right over here. And now I am ready to print. When I do a print preview, it looks about right. And then I will click on print to have it printed out. And once it's printed, I could... Um, use it for my card as I have um, shown you on my blog post. So if for full instructions on how to complete that Cupid card, go back to check out on my blog. And um, I guess I will see you there then. See you later. Bye.